This is a review of the Teslong Professional Borescope. Now I have had a chance to play with this and it did take me a while to get working and one thing you should know if you have a Google Pixel device you might have to try to download several different apps before you can find one that will work. I have found that the Pixel the Google Pixel device is not really compatible with a lot of the apps for these um, USB cameras. And on the main borescope here, got the this connection here that connects into the uh, USB part of the cable, and then you have the borescope part here. And one thing I like is that the mirror part screws off, so you can either look straight in to something or you can use the mirror to get an angle of whatever you're uh, looking into and it's fairly easy to get back together and it's got this little ring right here where you can uh, adjust the depth of how this goes into kind of adjust your focus because the focus on this is kind of pretty close and it's kind of you have to play with it to get it where you want to get the image looking sharp and on the USB part of the connector that's the male plug there and then you have the USB or the US micro USB and then the USB C adapter. Okay, so I'm just going to plug this or connect it real quick. Um, this is slotted, so it's kind of foolproof to get it connected. So you just line it up, screw it in there, get it in there nice and tight. Okay, I have the uh, borescope connected to my phone, and um, it's just this thing is a little difficult to use and do a video review at the same time, just due to the length of the cable and the stiffness of um, this the, this part of the endoscope here. So I've just got a soda can. I'm just going to put this into so you can kind of see how it works. And there is a light control uh, knob. If you can look on there and see that the brightness, you can just turn and adjust the brightness and you can uh, dim it down to barely on. So I'll just turn it on a little bit and we'll peek inside of this can real quick. I know nothing earth shattering or that, but I just wanted to show you that it does work. And now I'm going to take off the mirror. And now I'm going to just going to go in to the soda can without the mirror. And you can see that the focus is not all that good until you get pretty close to what you want to look at. And the image quality is not that bad. It's pretty good. You can actually make up this text and read it really good. But going down into the soda can, you can see that it's kind of blurry, but the focus is only controlled by you moving the borescope. So you have to get your focus where you want to be able to read what is on here. And with the bright light shining, sometimes it's hard to see. And so you just adjust the brightness down so you can make out what is on the surface of whatever you're looking at and it's actually not that bad and it looks to be 
it's not really a reverse image, you just got to turn it to get it right. So you, once you start using it, you'll get to know, you know how you have to turn it to get the proper view. And it's you know stiff, so you, you have to use two hands. Uh, you might be able to get by with one, uh, just depending on what you're using the bore scope for. But uh, overall, it's been uh, kind of neat to use this and play with it in a different applications. So, um, but once I got past the app issue, which was, I guess, more of a phone compatibility issue, not the app. But um, as you can see, it's you know working pretty good on my phone now.